we're going to try to upgrade the hard drive on this uh, or the SSD on this LG Gram 16 uh, inch 2022. Pick one of these up, um, MP600 uh, SSD, four terabytes, and we're going to see if we can upgrade it. First of all, I need a knife, which of course I didn't have handy. There we go. Let's have a look. Now this seems to be quite cheap, and I'm a bit concerned that it's because it had a water it had a water cooler option on it, and I'm not going to need the water cooler option. So I'm hoping that I can actually remove the water cooler option, and we're just left with a a nice simple SSD. Otherwise, I might have made a fatal error and <laughs> to return it. Oh dear. Is it going to come off? Let's see. It is, something is coming off. Making a bit of a pig's ear of this, aren't I? Let's see if this will properly come off. There we go. Okay. Well. There's the SSD. Will it come out of here? I think it must do because I can see it's already adrift a little bit. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, here we go. Ba dang! There we go. So we've managed to take it out. Uh, let's see if we can now pop this into this laptop. get my monitor working. Right, there we go. So we're going to see what we have to do to open this up. Now I've opened up these uh, before and from memory we need to take off these and these uh, sort of screw attachments. Now this is new so I don't know if there's anything behind here as well. So this is going to be a bit of a experimentation thing here um, I haven't seen anybody else take these apart so let's hope we can All right. well so far so good this is um, identical to how we've the old 2020 version and from videos what the 2021 version had as well so hopefully we can take these feet off without ruining too much there we go uh, these, if you take these off too many times, the stickiness goes. And on my 2020, one of them has lost its stickiness. So, fortunately, it's uh, disappeared somewhere where, where we'll never know. So, there's a, if you ever look on the back of it, you'll see there's a, one of these missing. So, so far, so good. The other thing about these little ones is that it's quite easy to um, leave a little mark on them. Uh, whether that bothers you, I mean, you, you, let's face it, you don't spend your life looking at the back of a laptop, do you? So is it a big deal or not? I don't know. Now, what I'm concerned about is there's going to be something behind here. And there is. Oh, it's almost like I've done this before. <laughs> if only that were true. So let's see if I've got a screwdriver which is going to fit these. That's good. There we go. Now, I don't think they're all the same either. They're different colours, so... Yeah, so this is a shorter one than this one. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like these ones are slightly longer. They look like they're about six, six or so millimetres now. Where's that gone? <laughs> I lost the screw already. How did I manage that? 
There it is. Yeah, these all look the same length. And it's just these two are a bit shorter. So now we get to the point where we have to figure out how to get into this thing. And um, probably need to get the spudges out, I would imagine. Just looking at this. You can see where the seam is. Let's get the spudges out. selection. There we go. Let's see if we get on with those. Yeah, I can see some movement here. Let's see if we can get in. Seems good. Okay. Very nice. So, so this is not the prescribed method. This is just what I'm doing but without any uh, other information. Of course, this is where we're going to find that underneath here we've got some more screws. <laughs> it's just hope not, eh? There's just a matter of seeing how we get. Oh, hang on. I'm not so sure if there is something. There might be something under there. I can feel something binding. Oh, I don't think so. Something going on here, which I can't quite see what's happening. I'm wondering if there's something underneath here that needs looking at. Let's see if I can get in. Oops, that's no good. Not having it. So I'm look from inside here, see if I can see anything. Oh, no, I think it's just a plastic clip, as far as I can see. certainly see the um, you can see in here there's the spare slot
yeah there's definitely no screw thing that I can see from this end it just looks like it's it's a plastic tab but I can't work out how to to untap it. Yeah, it's definitely um, kind of loose in there. See if we can just Oh, I saw something moving there. Let's have a look. There. Wow. I just hope I didn't break anything. So these tabs here, yeah. These tabs here are what was holding it on there. So I'm just having a look. Yeah, it hasn't broken anything, but man, that was hard to figure out. So there we go. Um, let's see if we can put this new NVMe in. It's interesting. It says it's NVMe by four only. So sounds like maybe it doesn't support um, uh, SATA. Okay, there's that. I don't think there's anything I can salvage from here. Probably not. So, there we go. I'm not going to push the lid on again properly yet. I'm going to check that everything works. But uh, anyway, there we go. That was how I put in the extra SSD. Thank you for watching.